So this is my homemade air-operated clutch assembly. So I could run a linkage, but it kind of gets in the way. I've left uh, that option open, but I thought I'd try this first because uh, it's easier to run, you know, a 3 8 airline back to the clutch from the dash than it is to run a linkage. So I've got a, a trailer hand valve there, and I just got a cheap ass air cylinder. And I built a kind of a, a linkage up top there for it. A couple of return springs, which I'm not actually sure I need because the clutch returns by itself. And then I got a relay valve, which I'm also not sure I need. And the, re the idea of the relay valve is it exhausts air quicker so it doesn't have to travel all the way back to the dash and uh, exhaust through the exhaust port on the hand valve. But I think I might want to return it slower so I just set this up. I'm probably going to have to do a little tweaking, but... I'm trying to do this one-handed here. So you can, you can push it out slowly and carefully. I'm thinking it might be a little bit touchy. I'm not sure. Maybe not. I'm trying to just ease it back just a tiny bit. As if you're trying to find the sort of the take-up spot, the happy spot for the clutch when it starts to grab. So it's kind of jumpy. So I think it actually needs to exhaust a bit slower. It's not actually too bad. I think I'd get used to it. So I'm going to set it up like this when the truck is running which will be a bit later on in the summer I'll play with it and if need be I'll get rid of the relay valve so then it'll bleed back slower I can also put a pressure reducer in the in the exhaust port and that'll help it bleed back slower too and then I can meter the clutch in and out a little easier but anyway that's what I'm going to use instead of a linkage if it all works <laughs> 